Loren, for your kind words. And I have to, just for the record, I am not the only priest here in confessions <laughs> at the CIC. Um, so I have a great uh, team of uh, other uh, people helping. And um, I, while, while I was listening to um, Tom Yanucci's um, remarks, and Tom Yanucci, by the way, is the chairman of the board of directors at the CIC, I was thinking of how fortunate the Catholic Information Center is for having this outstanding board of directors. And who are fully, thank you, yes, for them. <laughs> who are fully committed to the mission that I inherited from my predecessors, and also for so many people who, in one way or another, support the CIC with their time, with their sacrifice, with their uh, financial support, and especially with their prayers. And today I wanted to um, recognize the co-chairs of this amazing um, gala, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Leonard and Sally Leo. Mr. Thank you, thank you for, thank you for that. Mr. and Mrs. Edward and Kathleen Grapp, thank you, thank you for all you do. And Mr. and Mrs. Tom and Laura Bell. Their enthusiasm and their friendship makes or have made a difference in organizing this dinner. Anyway, and also I wanted to recognize the new evangelization circle sponsors. We have Mr. and Mrs. Tom and Lisa um, Yanucci. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Um, uh, Pat and Becky Cipolloni. <laughs> the Catholic Association, thank you very much, and also an anonymous um, donor. <laughs> anyway, and now I would like to recognize uh, to and welcome His Excellency, Archbishop Broglio, Archbishop of the Military Services. No, wait, not yet, not yet. <laughs> and I want to thank you, um, all of you who have contributed um, to make this gala uh, an, an, amazing, um, an amazing event um, tonight. Anyway, many things have happened at the CIC during this year, not just all the statistics that we saw um, on the screen. We also um, did something that it, it's not the most important thing, but it brought a lot of headaches because we redesigned the window display of the CIC. <laughs> and we encountered many difficulties, especially in dealing with the landlord. Um, but let me tell you something. When I arrived in the U.S., um, I saw many times on the highway something that shocked me, and it was these big billboards with uh, big letters that said, do you want to go to heaven? Call 1-800-417-9652. I made up the number, so don't call. <laughs> but, but in thinking how to express the substance of the CIC to the city, I thought, you know, I had a crazy thought of putting there on K Street, do you, on K Street, do you want to go to heaven? 1-800-CIC-CIC. <laughs> or 1-800-CONFESSIONS or 1-800 daily mass. Anyway, we didn't do that. Um, I will tell you what we did later. But in the history of the church, in the history of the church, different groups of people have played a variety of roles in spreading the message of Christ. But I would say that, I would say that it has not been until recently in which when, that when we have been awakened right, to understand the vocation of the lay people, of you, all of, all of you, to step up, right, and to bring Christ 
to our society, to our workplace, to our neighborhood, to our friends, to our communities. And we just saw a message from John Paul II's apostolic exhortation, Christe Fideris Laichi, addressed to the lay, faith, lay faithful of the world. And as we heard, we are all called to God's vineyard in which, and now I quote, the lay faithful are seen not simply as laborers who work in the vineyard, but as themselves being part of the vineyard. And Jesus says, and this is also from the quote, I am the vine, you are the branches. And when we were making this short video, we were trying to address or to show the seriousness of this message. So it was not a somber, you know, music behind it. it was, it, we wanted to express the seriousness that, of uh, God's call in our times. Now, if the world is God's vineyard, what is the CIC? The winery. <laughs> Now, let's transform this to um, the city life. The CIC is like a nuclear plant for the city of Washington, which um, main source is the Blessed Sacrament. And if you were to be watching the World Series, and you are not, because you are right now, right now here, right? <laughs> Although I saw some people taking out their phones, maybe they are from Boston, um, you would see these aerial images of, of the city, sometimes they show them, with full of lights, bringing life where there is darkness. It's a beautiful scenery. And I imagine each one of you being with the talents that God has given you being one of those lights. And they are different. They have different colors, different sizes, right? Different intensities, according to the gifts that our Lord has given each one of you. So that there is more um, development, more justice, more good decisions made for our country, more understanding. And the CIC's mission is to supply that electricity to all those lights so that they can work at full capacity. And this is so important. <laughs> now, at our window display, in the end, we um, put some words that are like the sources of power, right? It's like a word cloud, if you go there. And it's like sound, sound bites we have the word of daily mass, adoration, spiritual direction, um, faith and reason, events, lectures, everything. Now, why do we do this? John Paul II, in that same letter, tells us so that the lay faithful may participate in the work of creation, free creation from the influence of sin, and sanctify themselves in marriage or the celibate life in a family in a profession, and in the various activities of society. And today I'm happy to announce that we are honoring a very bright light who has worked at full capacity, a veteran of the good cultural battles. And he will be introduced shortly. I want to thank Sean for accepting this award for the benefit of all. And I pray, you know that Father Arne Panula, my predecessor, was very fond of telling people that the CIC was not just an oasis, but um, a beachhead in the battle of the culture. And I pray to God that all of us become veterans of this fight, in the fight to build a better society based on the love of Christ. And the CIC will provide these intellectual and spiritual resources to help to help you just do that in probably the most influential city in the world. And I don't do that alone. 
um, as I just told you, I have a very dedicated team of professional and sharp people who work very hard, very hard to keep the Catholic Information Center operating at full capacity so that, so that um, there, may, there may be many, many lights shining in this city and in the nation. And I now